Hello, Unit 5 community. This video is all about Google Takeout. Now, what's Google Takeout, you ask? Well, if you are leaving the school district for any reason, maybe you are a senior who is about to graduate, maybe you're a student moving to another school, maybe you're a teacher who's moving out of the district, you may want to take out all of your Google stuff and take it with you. Uh, that can be files in your Google Drive, it could be your email, it could be videos you've uploaded to YouTube. Google offers a service that allows you to take all of that out and take it with you. So we're going to talk through that whole process. And you'll see here I'm logged into uh, my Google Drive, my district Google Drive, under my student account. So first we have to get to Google Takeout. The easiest way that I have found to do that is to simply Google search Google Takeout. And the first link that you're going to get is going to take you directly to the Google Takeout page. If you're not already signed into your district account, you're going to be prompted to sign into that before you get here. Now, by default, this is going to select everything that is related to Google in order for you to take out. Now, I recommend that you go ahead and flip this over to select none, and then you only choose the items that you wish to take with you. So not everybody wants to take their bookmarks with them, so you'd leave that off. Now, what I would recommend that everybody try to take with them would be their Google Drive, that makes sense, and then possibly your mail. And then if you use Google Photos, perhaps you'd like to take those with you. Um, another thing that people might want to take with them would be their YouTube information. Now, specifically, I'll show you um, how YouTube works. Now, for most of these, you'll see there's a little down arrow and you can get more information about what's going to be taken out of that service. So for YouTube, it, the default is for it to take out all of your YouTube data. Now, you don't have to do that. I can go into select specific data, and then you'll see that these are the things that it's going to take. My history, my playlists, my subscriptions, my videos. You may just want to take out only your videos. right? So you would select just that, hit done. Okay, so after you've gone through and you've selected all the things that you want to take with you, you come down here to the bottom and you hit next. And it's going to give you some options of how you can take that information out. And I'm going to recommend that you stick with all of the uh, defaults that are listed here. So stick with a, a zip file type. Don't worry about the others. And then also with those zip files being in two gigabyte chunks. And what this is going to do is if it's if there's more than two gigabytes to take out, it's just going to split those out into multiple files. And you'll want to do that because if you get a single file that's 50 gigabytes in size, if there's any little problem throughout the entire 50 gigabytes, you're going to have to redo this whole process. So leave it at the defaults and then we can leave it as uh, sending a download link to your email once this is all done. Okay, so I'm going to create this archive, and you'll see that uh, it's telling us that there are three products, so that was for me, YouTube, Google Drive, and Mail, that are currently being prepared. And when it's done, they're going to send me that email uh, to go ahead and download. And this may take a while, depending on uh, how many YouTube videos you have, how big your Google Drive is. Uh, this could take hours or, like it says, maybe even days before that full archive is completed and emailed to you. Now, once it is, you can go to your Gmail, your district Gmail, and you will find, uh, you'll find that they have sent you an email. Oh, in fact, here we go. Under updates here, I have my Google Data Archive is ready. So now... Um, through this email, I can go ahead and hit download archive and all of that information from my Google Drive is going to uh, be downloaded onto the machine that I'm currently on, which is important to note because uh, you'll want to do this on one of your personal devices. 
whether that's a uh, home desktop or a home laptop. Uh, you just don't want to do it on a school device because you want these things to be accessible to you when you leave. So uh, hopefully that's given you some information on how you can get your Unit 5 uh, data out of Unit 5 Google and into any other location that you want. Thanks for watching.